<laughs> okay. Welcome back to Fresh Fit and Healthy YouTube, but I have a special guest here. Well, actually, she, she I'm the guest because we're in her house, but <laughs> anyways, this is Gigi. Hello, everyone. And introduce yourself a little bit. Okay, I'm Gigi of Gigi Eats Celebrities. You can find that everywhere on the, on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll link it down below, too. Yeah, do that, do that. But I talk about weird, interesting, different <laughs> foods. I make weird recipes. I do little chicken dances. I don't know. She's you a little check weird out my channel. Herself, you know, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. just check out my channel. If you check out her channel, you will laugh and you will get an ab workout. So... Yeah, what? No more crunches, man. <laughs> no more I don't know what that was, but <laughs> sure, it's a, it's a crunch in midair. <gasps> yeah. Well, so we are going to show you guys what I we mean. Eat. I would like to consider myself fit. So. Fit, what? I mean, come on, that's your blog title. Yeah, so like fresh, fit, and healthy. So, like, fresh, fit foods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna do five foods that I eat almost every day and five foods that she eats every day, and that will, of course, make ten because I can add. Um, wow. <laughs> I'm impressed right now. Anyways, so we're gonna show you these top ten foods that are really healthy, really great to keep in. Your, your house, house at yeah. all times and exactly. great for snacks great for meals you know just the it, they're great to keep you fit and healthy just like your blog title and fresh Boom. and fresh <laughs> duh exactly so you should do the honors of starting <laughs> all right number one for me is coffee guys and a lot of people say that coffee is not good for you don't do it try to get off of it no um so I like to get flavored coffees. Yes. And Gigi yum. just happened to have so many delicious ones that I was so happy this morning. We are twins because I love the flavored coffees too. I'm not like the picky, I need this dark roasted blah blah blah. I'm like, no, I would like the papal, the papal, the, the pecan maple spice the papal. thing. Yeah, the papal. I'm gonna make a new coffee flavor, whatever. Yeah, so I start my day every single morning with coffee and it's not even because I really need the caffeine. It's comforting to me. I love the taste of it. And I usually just sweeten it with a little bit of like liquid stevia of any kind of flavor. Yeah. I don't use cream or anything like that. Sometimes in the middle of the day, I'll use some almond milk in it, but, that's but nice. that's it. So yeah. that's great. And it's like the caffeine in it really does speed up your metabolism. It's good for you. And I mean, the reason why there's such a misconception about coffee being unhealthy is there's so many creamers and, and all this other crap that's added to all those mixed coffee drinks at exactly. co uh, coffee places. Yeah, like, so, like if you go to Starbucks and you get a Frappuccino, that's like what, 900 calories? And that's not even coffee, like that? that's ice cream. That's guys. literally ice yeah. cream. So, like worse than ice cream. The pure coffee maybe two calories in an eight ounce cup, and yeah. guess what? It does all of the healthy things that Sarah just said, you know, revving your metabolism and that kind of stuff, so you really can't go wrong. And stevia is calorie free and actually reduces blood sugar levels. Yes. So boom shakalaka. <laughs> Anyways, that is my first choice. What is your first choice, Gigi? Every single day of my life, <laughs> I eat cinnamon. But seriously, she does. Like I thought I ate it a lot because I eat it like three to four times a week, but I crave it like a girl. pregnant woman craves like pickles and her ice cream. Like I can't eat in like Pregnant with, women crave pickles and ice cream. I don't know, maybe they do. <laughs> uh, they crave weird things, but I crave salmon all the live long day. Salmon, 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 salmon. So that's my number one pick and it's high in omega-3 fatty acids, which is great for your skin and your, I just said skin. Your skin <laughs> and your hair. Um, sweet, obviously good for your brain and it keeps me on my toes. It gives me all my energy, yay! <laughs> Number two for me is Greek yogurt. And I get the plain Greek yogurt, and if you want to, you can sweeten it with, of course, again, the liquid stevia or any other choice of sweetener. Like uh, cinnamon and stuff. Yeah, too. I was just gonna say, and sprinkle with cinnamon. I sometimes mix some protein powder in it, even though it doesn't even need extra protein because Greek yogurt, it's like 80 calories for this tub and 15 grams of protein. You start getting these flavored yogurts and it just has tons of sugar in it and we don't need that. You can just add a little bit of your exactly. own. Exactly, get a little creative in the kitchen and you're totally good to go. Yeah. So my number two food, 
Winter squash! Do you see this? I love these so much. I eat these almost, or actually no, I eat these every single day <laughs> yeah. too. Um, I love to roast this in the oven, just mm. with a little cinnamon and stevia. So, oh, yes. So good. I like to roast this in the oven, but then pair it with salmon, and I actually wrap it in nori sheets, Ooh. and it is like the best thing ever. Wow. Um, yeah, I go to town. I really like to eat with my hands, so that's just what I do. Forks, knives, who does that? I use these chompers as knives, and my thing Here's our forks, so we're good. So this is number two on my list. They're high in vitamin A, which is great for your eyes and all that jazz. Although I'm really bad at eyesight, so <laughs> let me eat more. Um, yeah, and they're just great, and it makes me feel like it's fall all the time, and I love fall. Oh, fall we were just talking about our love for fall because pumpkin, which just happens to be my third choice. Woo! Pumpkin, oh, guys. pumpkin's so good. <laughs> you don't understand, like when fall comes around and everything pumpkin flavored comes out, I'm just like in heaven. And do you remember when Libby's pumpkin had like a a shortage? Oh yeah, and it I, the prices went up. I bought I every single can. So you caused the shortage. I did cause the shortage, and I had pumpkin for years <laughs> after that. I think I still have cans in my pantry at home. Oh my gosh. I wish I was as smart as you because I would go to the stores and I would have to pay so much for one can or just it wouldn't be there. And yeah. I was like, what the? I bought so many pumpkin pancakes. Are they shoes fizzle? Yeah, yeah they are. So, and talking about yogurt and mixing things into it, mm -hmm. pumpkin with cinnamon, stevia, like, and you green yogurt. You can mix this in there too. Oh, that too. What was that, like a bat? It was a bat. <laughs> okay, throw the thing up in the air and I'll hit it. Uh, no, but serious. <laughs> on the floor and then everything was gonna go all over the place. You know, that's how we do. We just kinda I know, live by the moment. Exactly. <laughs> I like to live by the moment. So but anyways, yeah. pumpkin, it's super good for you because number one, if you need a tan, secrets. If you eat a <laughs> if you eat a lot Cause you know I'm super tan right now and I eat a lot of winter squash. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but seriously if you eat this with beta, beta, beta the beta carotene, beta carotene, a lot of carrots, a lot of pumpkin, you, your skin really does start turning a little like hint of like. No, orange. it does because people actually look at my skin sometimes. They're like, you weirdly orange. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. This is great and for your fiber, and it's just really great just because I love pumpkin. And straight out of the can, I would add some cinnamon and stevia. I mean, without sweetener. Mm. But I do add, <laughs> I, after a little while, I'll put some stevia in there. Yeah, so I like love it with just some cinnamon stevia mixed into it, mixed into yogurt, you know. Yes. All right, well, with that, this right here is my first choice for what to wrap my food in. Nori! As I mentioned before, I love to wrap, you know, spaghetti squash with salmon and nori. However, I found this specific type, Sea Snacks, has like flavored noris. Yeah. This is so addictive. It even says on the packaging somewhere, strangely addictive. Well, it's not strangely addictive, it's just straight up addictive. Yeah, so well, she just showed ball. me, we got sushi last night, and yeah. she just showed me these things called salmon skin hand rolls. Salmon skin hand rolls, and they're wrapped in like this. Yeah, and it's wrapped in that, that's it. It was delicious. Like it's my new favorite thing to get at sushi restaurants. But I tell ya, I tell ya, I got a weird palate, but I know what <laughs> tastes good. Again. Yeah, this is perfect snack on the go. Actually, when I was on my 13 hour flights mm -hmm. to and from Taiwan, recently I brought these with me. Cause she's so cool, she gets flown into Taiwan. Cause I'm what? so cool. <laughs> um, anyways, I brought these with me Ooh. and I would snack on them. So I maybe ate like three of them. And you know, even though it sounds like I'm eating diet food or whatever, yeah. I, it was a good snack. It yeah. was good to no. hold me over until I got to Taiwan yeah. where I was served a million <laughs> and 10 different things. <laughs> so I'm still full. Um, but you know, in the whole package, there's 50 calories, there's um, two grams of protein, and just a lot of vitamins and minerals because seaweed is the shit nizzle. Hashtag winning. Hashtag awesome. And for my fourth option, sliced turkey. I oh, like to get yeah. the low sodium one too because sliced deli meat is just kind of high in sodium and as much as I am a lover of all things salt, Ooh, I too. try to Cut it down sometimes. So I usually try to get the low sodium, but any 
any kind of sliced turkey, it's delicious. I usually just literally squirt some like mustard and wrap it in lettuce and it's a great snack in like, you know, normal Kroger grocery stores. Yeah. They're not the best. Like, what is it called? Um, Oscar Myers or something? Like, I wouldn't recommend that type because there's a lot of nitrites added to that. Well, Oscar Mayer has a way with B O L O G A. -A. Gross. <laughs> Anyways, this is a great snack. It's my number four choice, and you should keep this on hand because it's great. Unless you're vegetarian, then I'm sorry for you because I live off this. Yeah, sorry vegetarians, you won't be benefiting <laughs> from that one. And really great lean protein. It sustains me. It adds some great protein into my diet to build that muscle. And this you know? is so great for on the go. Throw yeah. this in your purse, done. <laughs> Just, Just take it out of your purse. Girl, I, I have meat in my purse, let's be real. That's how I roll. Um, so my fourth choice, mm -hmm. I love me the spinach. I actually, this is what I do. I open it up, grab a handful with my hand, I use my- Because um, she doesn't use utensils. Yeah, like why about. would I do that? I basically treat these as potato chips. So I grab uh -huh. it with my hand, squirt ketchup on it, uh -huh. my sugar-free ketchup, shove it in my face. Because these, we were just talking about how we're, we're more uh, salty people than sweet people. Like, I love, don't get me wrong, I love my chocolate and stuff, but. I don't even like chocolate. I, mm. <laughs> More for you, more for, <laughs> more for me. That's why we make the best pair. Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, the fifth option for me is something I sadly don't have because we ate it all last night. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but sushi is my fifth choice, and I literally live off of it. I go get sushi like four to five times a week. It's embarrassing how many times I go get sushi. <laughs> like, if a guy takes me out to get sushi, I know he's doing the right thing already. He's a winner. Um, anyways, so, and the top kind of sushi to get for me is riceless sushi. Like, riceless rice, sushi. Yeah. I, that's wow. Riceless, riceless sushi. Riceless sushi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I was just saying, she ordered me that, um, what's it called again? It was called the house roll, so basically it's wrapped in cucumber and there was uh, yellowtail, salmon, regular tuna, and avocado. Yeah, I have a picture best. of that because I take a photo of every kind of food I eat, so oh, girl, you guys go, you same. guys see it now too. It's delicious. <laughs> I eat that every single time I go to that restaurant along with a million and ten Sam's Canales. So good. We Anyways, it's so great. Like, high in protein and, like, really low in carbs, especially if you get the riceless one. And it's just filling, and seafood is really healthy for you. Mm -hmm. and Lots of omega-3 fatty acids, like I mentioned. My fifth choice, which I don't have any here. Um, I've eaten it all, so I didn't restock. But I usually actually go out for it because for some reason I'm too scared to cook it because I think it's gonna be gross. It's chicken. I specifically love You're chicken. You're scared to cook chicken. Yeah, I think that I'll make it gross. I don't know. I love chicken shawarma. Oh. And chicken shawarma is like a very specific yes. Lebanese dish that, that is just top notch. My ex-boyfriend's mom was full Lebanese. The best. Oh. Okay. People are always like, what do you want to go to lunch? Um, <laughs> I want to go to Bro Bro's Chicken over here in Hollywood because it's got some Lebanese food. Um, so yeah, I love me some chicken. Really high quality protein. I like breast. I don't really like dark meat very much. Yeah. I definitely like some skin every so often. So if I eat the free range stuff, it's no problem. I mean, there you have it, guys. There's 10 foods that fit people like us eat almost every single day. Every day. Except for I don't have any arm muscles, so I shouldn't probably flick. Girl, you got some arm muscles up in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And mm -hmm. don't forget to check out Gigi's channel. I'll Please link do. it down below and her blog because that's what's really hilarious. I'm going to smack you in the face with this because you know it can <laughs> dent cans. So clearly it can dent your head. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, I'm not psycho. Yeah, I won't do that, I promise. Just, just kidding, because I'm actually going to eat this instead. Well. Anyways, bye guys. <laughs> bye, and don't forget to like this video. Uh oh, thumbs up. Yeah, subscribe if you aren't already, and then go over to hers and subscribe, because we're cool people. You want to see more of us, right? Of course you do. And we made a video for her channel, so you should go check that one out, too. Yeah, you should. Because it involves things like this. <laughs> So that looked really scrumptious now, didn't it? <laughs> so you better go check that one out as well. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.